in today's video we will be discussing about chat gpt and how we can integrate it with mulesoft so without any further ado let's quick jump into the open ai platform so i have opened up my browser and i'm looking for open ai so this is the home page of open ai and if you just click on this api button it will give you the option to log in and sign it up so just to try it more just click on this try button and this will open up the default chat uh, window or you can say the playground but to start it uh, before we jump into the more details of it let's try to put some details so um, let me go into the api okay we are on the same page so uh, let me on to the click on the login button now it will give you different options either you can opt for email address directly or you can sign up using your google account or the microsoft account i will go ahead with my google uh, account i have selected my default email id and now you can see the platform of open ai is now opened up and if i click on this playground i will see this default window okay and let's say uh, looking for chat gpt and if i click on this try it now so this will open up the same page which was available on here as well because i have already logged in so let's try out with something mm. so i have just uh, put down a random string and it has generated a response out of it but uh, this is uh, more on a one to one uh, talking platform in which you can put any of your message and it will revert back with something so to start further with the integration part what you need to do you have to log in into the playground uh, url and after that you have to click on your uh, profile and after that there is an option of view api keys just click on that and now under the user section api keys there is an option to create a new secret key if you click on this it will ask for some couple of questions let me show you how it will look like like this and you can click on ok and you can delete it as well because i have already created one of the uh, api key already just make a note of it because it will be handy in our integration part as well so having said that now we will jump on to the uh, our platform that is anypoint platform this is anypoint uh, studio and just to let you know i am using the latest one that is 714 which is available in the market okay as you can see this is 7.14.0 and uh, I'll click on continuity studio and let me try to explain this very basic flow of open ai what i have created i have just uh, put down a listener from my favorites just drag and drop and put down a path as slash sample i have used the default http listener config so let you show you uh, the port is 8081 and default http connection if i click on test connection it should be good it's already in use because i have already started the console so let me stop this guy clear up the console let's give it a try again but basically it will connect yeah so you can see after that there is a logger which just shows uh, the post message which is going to be received by this particular flow flow initiated successfully and received payload after that there is a transform message which i have created and i have put down this particular uh, structure so basically it asks for model and i am using this particular model of text davinci 003 so in order to know more about this i would suggest you to go into the api details of openai where it explains the different uh, structure of the expected request the second is the prompt prompt means what is the input uh, message it is going to uh, start the conversation after that the max tokens you can change but by default i'm taking 64 and similarly the temperature these these two values are maybe you can see the default values 
If you want to check it further, uh, I would suggest you to check out more details under documentation and check for this text completion. Okay, and here you will see some of the details. Let me try to go for this particular um, format. One second. Completions. So under API reference completions, and uh, here this is slash vi completions, and it asks for basically model prompt, max token, and temperature. So if you want to uh, learn more about it, what is prompt is all about, there is a uh, detailed information available. But I am using the crux out of it. So using this, I have just created the payload. And after that, there is a logger just to print the payload. After that, there is a set variable which I have placed and I have placed this particular token with a variable name as token. This is the same which I have copied it from, uh, from my personal view API keys. Just copied it from AC4, okay? Just to let you know, uh, this is AC4 only. After that, there is a request which I have just drag and drop from here. From my favorites to consume an http service and here the url i have given as openai.com slash v1 completions if you compare this one this is the same thing which we have seen over here mm, yeah this one the http open api open ai.com v1 completion so we are using the completions um, uh, feature or you can say the function of open ai platform of chat gpt and after that, there is a payload which we have, which we have already created within the, this particular transform message. But apart from that, we need to uh, share some of the details in the header part as well, because if you compare um, here in the header, we need to pass the authorization key as well as bearer along with your API key. So what I have done within the value, we, I have passed bearer plus plus VAS token. VAS token, we have set it over here. And after that, using this, we are making a call to the this particular URL using the post method. And once it has been done, uh, I am going to uh, break down the incoming uh, response so that I will pick only the first uh, response out of it and I will break down the next line character. So basically, I'm just picking, the, picking up the first pot, uh, first option which is coming out of it. The next thing is um, just the, uh, printing the same message and finally uh, there is a logger. So this is the entire setup which I have done. This is pretty much straightforward. Let me try to run this particular uh, flow. But in the meanwhile, I would suggest you if you are using the Postman GUI, just go for it and uh, you can search for API network basically go for explore and search for uh, open AI okay and here you will see a lot many things are related to that you can fork this entire open AI uh, open AI postman package and once you are done uh, how it will see it it will be appearing like this and you can create a completion depending how you want to create and it will uh, give you the results as well so having said that let me go to the my workspace once again so i have done the same thing and uh, if i go on open ai let me search for that open ai this is my fork and uh, this is already set up what you need to do you just need to set up this token using the global variables okay here in the variable you can set the open the base uri as well which is already set over there and i have used only this completion uh, api you can uh, try to figure out all these possible things as well so just to let you know this particular postman package is nowhere connected directly with our flow but i'm just giving you a, a outside uh, perspective as well how you can create more uh, integration out of it so base url is the same and authorization it is using the uh, that is of this parent okay parent uh, this is the bearer token 
okay and after that this is model from next token and temperature if you have noticed last two values are the same and even the model which i am using is davinci 003 my question here is can you write a data view 2.0 script to add two numbers and i will just hit on the send button let's see how it responds well so what it is doing uh, it is giving me uh, a json response out of that choices and there is a text and there is a response so this is our dw uh, uh, response which is coming out as a response from the chat gpt and within our flow as well if you try to compare here i am just uh, taking out the first uh, array value of uh, this choices text so let, let me try to hit this particular instance as well so to start with let me try to hit this sample and this is a post method of course okay so i will go back to the postman once again and this is uh, this is the same http localhost 8081 sample and this is the body and uh, the input message which i am going to feed in is best integration technology vendor to handle api integration on a mass scale pretty much generic uh, question so i will just hit on this send button and let me clear out the console once again okay it's already clear let me click on the send button it will take couple of seconds and you can see it is giving me uh, the first choice out of all possible uh, combinations it talks more about the mulesoft but i will not go into the detail of it because my entire channel is dedicated to mulesoft itself so if i go on to the console the very first logger which talks about flow initiated receive payload so this is the flow initiated receive payload and this is the input message after that there is a second logger after this transform message and which prints the payload basically so it is the entire payload which we have configured within the prompt the input message is being replaced uh, in this prompt uh, key value pair and after that this logger comes in which talks about this convert uh, this the transformation okay so let me show you this as well one of the best integration technology talks about this particular string after that uh, this is the transform message and this is the final logger which i am just printing flow completed successfully along with the payload flow completed successfully and along with the payload so this was uh, a uh, poc which i have conducted to showcase how chat gpt is uh, possible to connect with any point studio you can try out the different uh, options and the capabilities which are available within this open ai platform which is having a huge scope i really hope you like this particular video and thanks for watching